Grant an audience today. You must leave immediately. <laughs> Father, my training is complete. Pledge. A knight 
Bart's word is his bond, his kingdom his master. He serves the weak untiringly, challenges the strong un unflinchingly, ha, and never retreats in the face of adversity. Mm, yes, very good. <laughs> You are a man now, Faris, and tomorrow's race shall prove it. Fear not, beloved father. I shall disappoint neither you nor they. your name, stranger? And what brings you to Galopolis? Hmm. Surely he speaks of the rainbow. It is the only treasure of our kingdom that would warrant such a description. I believe I can assist you, friend. Visit me in my chambers at the foot of the great staircase. physique are perfect, and you have the face of one who knows horses. <clears throat> you should be aware that the branch you seek is a priceless royal treasure. However, he might be persuaded to part with it if the request came from his beloved son. I have but one small favor to ask in return. Walls have so many unwelcome ears. Ah. ah, the noise of the circus will protect our privacy. Will you join me there? Then it is agreed. I will meet you at the entrance to that ridiculous tent this evening.
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for the act you've all been waiting for. Prepare yourselves for an experience like no other. Prepare yourselves for the Great Silvando! Gentlemen, please! There is no need to be afraid! The great Silvando will never endanger his adoring audience. After all, darlings, you are the ones who make this show so special! I love you all! Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> Quickly, we must talk while the people are distracted. <laughs> now, as you may be aware, the Sun National is the most important event of the year here in Galopolis. And tomorrow, I am due to make my debut in the race to end all races. However, there is a problem. One teeny tiny, terrible problem. I cannot ride. In fact, I have barely so much as sat in a saddle. What? I have so far been able to hide this uh, unfortunate fact, but if I were to take part in the race, the inconvenient truth would surely be uncovered. And yet I have no choice for a prince of Golopolis not to take part in the Sun National on the year of his coming of age is unthinkable, unthinkable. So you see, your coming here was fated. It is a sign. The forces of destiny mean me to use you as my double. Ta-da! Your double? How's that gonna work? Won't everyone notice as soon as he walks out onto the track? Ah, the fates have provided that also. For you see, the royal family always races in full armor, lest the unthinkable occur. <laughs> Please, please, I beg of you, you must help me. You must enter the Sun National in my place. You are the most pathetic excuse for a prince I've ever seen. If you think we're going to help you lie to your people, you've got another thing coming. Huh. Is that so? Then I assume that your need of the rainbow is not so great after all. Wow, talk about shameless. Call me what you will, it changes nothing. You will do as the fates wish and take my place in the race? Yes? Ah, I knew you would see sense in the end. Thank you. I will talk to my father about the rainbow as soon as the race is over. You have my word. I took the liberty of arranging rooms for you at the inn. You will find the stable entrance in the western part of the city.
Holmes. This is... Uh, no ordinary sand national. Uh. Hooray! All hail Prince Varys! It must be wonderful to be so popular, darling. But of course, you are used to it. Being a real live prince, huh? The name's Silvano, by the way. One of the other writers had a little whoopsie, so I had to step in at the last minute. But don't think I'll be going easy on you just because you're royalty. Where would be the fun in that? Try to keep up, little princey! I hardly dare think that you might actually win! Now quickly, my public await! I shall take the reins from here. <laughs> Fear not, my friend. I have not forgotten my promise. the fates. Our plan was a success. Thank you. You have spared me great humiliation. <laughs> I will go immediately to my father and ask about the rainbow. <gasps> All hail Prince Faris! Pride of the desert. Horseman extraordinaire! Darling, you are fabulous. It was enough to bring a tear even to my jaded eye. Uh, 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 oh. 
way. Don't tell me you were... <gasps> Surely you didn't let your understudy take the stage for the command performance. <gasps> oh, this is too, too good. Wait, wait. But you do not understand the pressure I am under. A prince of Galopolis who could not ride a horse is a disgrace to the kingdom. I did what was necessary for the sake of my people. And now all can be forgotten. Yeah? And there was silly old Silvando thinking that knights never retreated in the face of adversity. Silence! I am the prince of this kingdom, and I will not have a traveling jester lecture me on chivalry. <gasps> a thousand pardons, your highness. <gasps> The Sultan wishes to see you, Your Highness. Your magnificent display of horsemanship has pleased him greatly. Very good. I will come right away. My promise still stands. Come to the throne room in a little while. So nice to see a royal with the common touch. You were wonderful out there today, darling. Maybe we'll get to share the stage again soon. <laughs> desired is to fulfill my duties as a prince and as a knight. Hmm? Ah. Father, if I may, I have promised to assist these travelers. Would you permit me to explain? Gladly, my son. It warms my heart to see you aiding those in need. Thank you, Father. <laughs> The truth of the matter is that my friends here have come to Galopolis in search of the rainbow. Your Majesty, the beast has returned. It attacked one of our men while we were out on patrol. The Slayer of the Sands is back? Why must the accursed creature always appear on this, the happiest day of the year? We will stand for this no longer. I must dispatch my finest knights and ensure that the fiend never again returns to terrorize the celestial sands. But wait. My boy, the fates are speaking to us. Capturing the Slayer would be the perfect way to show your people what a fine knight you have become. What? But, but, oh, father, <laughs> so many of our bravest men have confronted the creature and perished. <laughs> Surely, <laughs> I do not stand a chance. <laughs> Truly, it is the most able who are the most humble. This is your moment, Faris, my boy. Capture the Slayer and take your place in history. I... I... Oh, very... Very well, Father. Oh, 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 a thousand pardons. The, the rainbow will have to wait. Meet me in my chambers. Oh, 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 just breathe, Fanny. Oh, 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 please. 
please, please, I beg of you, the slayer of the sands will tear me limb from limb unless you aid me. Have pity on a desperate soul. Spoken like a true desert knight. Seriously, can't you handle this on your own? No, no, such a thing is impossible. I am no knight. I neglected my training. Oh, it is not my fault. I am an only child. I was coddled from birth and praised for the most insignificant of achievements. I did not wish to disappoint my parents or my peoples, but the more I fulfilled them, the more their expectations grew. Don't you see? If you refuse to help me, I will be sent to my doom. And through no fault of my own. <sighs> oh, thank you. Ten thousand thank yous. We must make preparations to depart immediately. What a pathetic excuse for a prince. Goodness knows what'll become of Galopolis with him in charge. You mustn't be so hard on him, Veronica. I'm sure it can't be easy growing up with everyone expecting so much of you. 